Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible back with another Xbox Game Pass quest guide. Uh, today we're going to be working on the monthly quest for the game eFootball. And uh, let's see, this is going to be active through August 3rd and this is worth 75 rewards points. And the objective is to win two My Club ranked match sim matches. So we'll go ahead and get that game started up. Um, I will warn you in advance, this took me a few hours to complete. Uh, probably partially through my own fault, uh, a couple of issues with Game Pass and the quest not unlocking for me. But uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to show you the correct way to get this unlocked uh, if you're having any difficulty with it. Um, let's see, there are, uh, I'll, I'll warn you, other than the three hours that it might take you to get everything finished, um, I'll warn you that there are a lot of uh, steps you have to go through in the tutorial and setup process here to get started on this quest. So with all of that being said, if you're still committed to getting this quest done, I commend you and uh, yeah, let's work on the process here. I'm gonna go kind of quickly through all of these prompts. Um, basically, you have to uh, tell tell the game which uh, country you'd like to use. You have to go through the uh, terms of use, the privacy notice and everything. And basically, you just need to click on them and then you can jump right back to the game. You don't have to actually uh, read through them entirely on the, uh, on the Edge browser if you don't want to. And uh, after you've done that, it will work on downloading all of the new content for the game. All right, and uh, once you get to this screen, um, this is where sort of the tutorial pieces start. I think they also have just a ton of announcements that they want to share with you. So you have to kind of click through all of these announcements to be able to, uh, to get started. Um, the area we want to go to is the My Club area. So you'll see that at the lower left of this menu, and then you can hit Start. And if you're curious about what a sim match is, it uh, stands for simulation. So um, we're not actually going to control the players per se in this. Uh, we're going to watch a simulation of a game. Um, that being said, you do have some control over what happens in the game to a certain extent. Um, let's see, for now you're just uh, selecting your team and your country that you want to uh, play as. Um, I don't think this is really crucial. I don't think this is really crucial. The uh, team I ended up going with was the Flamingo team, and I went with uh, Sabatini as the manager. And then you have to go through the process of picking your uh, primary team member and whoever you're going to sign a professional contract with. I went with uh, Lewandowski as my signed professional. So we're just continuing to hit the A button to proceed through all of these confirmations. And the game's gonna tell you about the squad management section where you manage your team. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to this in just a little bit. This is kind of an important screen and I'll touch on uh, what I learned about this screen a little bit later. But for now you can just hit A to confirm and go through all of the dialogues here. And then we have to move through the agent section and the tutorial section. Like I said, this game has just a ton of uh, prep work that you have to do before you can even start playing the game. So that was a little, little frustrating for me. Um, and if you guys have watched my tutorials before, you also know that I am not a huge uh, sports game fan, unfortunately. So uh, this was not really my cup of tea, but uh, I was able to uh, to succeed in the quest ultimately. So that's. That's a good thing. All right, so we're just continuing to press A and move on through the tutorial. We're setting up our scouts now. Don't really have anything uh, particular to pick at this point. You're just kind of filling in the slots.
And for any of the cutscenes, you can press the start button to skip over those. That'll save you some time as well. All right, and the, the game is almost done introducing us to all the different parts of the interface here. And we've got our team all picked out. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we will go into the uh, match section. So if you hit the left bumper button, then you can pick uh, to do a ranked simulation match. And the good thing about these first few matches is that your your team is going to be completely fresh. They're going to they're all going to have full stamina, um, and they're all going to be in great shape for for the first few matches. So. Um, Forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game grows older this evening. It hasn't arrived just yet, but it will do shortly. So like I said, these uh, these matches that we're working on here are simulated matches. So uh, what you're seeing is not actually me, you know, controlling the characters at all. We're basically just watching the match sort of play out. So it's all based upon the team that you've put together, the manager that you've selected, the placement of the players that you've put out on the field, and uh, they're, they're just kind of playing as, as they would do uh, if all of those settings were set in the way that you chose, basically, versus the other team, of course, how, however well the other team is put together. So this was my very first match. I did not end up uh, winning this match. Um, I believe I won my second and possibly third or fourth matches. Um, we'll cut to those in just a second. All right, so here's the uh, the first match that I did end up winning. Uh, my team already has one point at this point, uh, and, and I was actually playing against the exact same team. I'm not sure how that's possible. Some of the same people are out on the field on playing for both sides right now very odd situation i only had that happen one time but uh yeah apparently that's possible in this game a team can play against itself um if you press y while you're playing the game uh you can actually go into this sort of um minimized version of of the match that's in play you can see the ball moving around and the players moving around they're just kind of indicated by circles um, if you want to watch the match this way, you can. It uh, apparently avoids all of the replays and the little cutscenes that happen in the match, so you can actually get through the match a little faster this way. Um, but if not, you can press Y to return back to the match and watch it as normal and let the cutscenes unfold and the replays unfold as they will. And that will be the final act. All right, so the simulation is complete. So we did end up winning one to zero on that on that match. So that's great. That's our first win under under our belt. Um, and something I was wondering because I'm not as familiar with uh, football as, as some other people. Um, so matches run uh, 90 minutes generally in in football, and um, the the minutes seem to go by about every eight seconds in this game. So you end up with about a 12 to 15 minute game, uh, pretty much depending on how many of those replays take place and if there are any extensions to the matches or anything like that. So expect each game to take, you know, roughly 15 minutes uh, to be simulated. All right, so this is the second match that I ended up winning. And... Um, Again, this, you're not really watching for any particular gameplay on my part here. Um, this is just the players that I've picked and set up, and uh, they're scoring goals for me. It's a very, very odd uh, quest guide this, this week, but uh, or very odd quest this week. Uh, but there we go. We've got, the, uh, we've got the first points, and that'll be the only point for this match. So you would think as soon as this match was over that I would get the quest completed. That was what I was expecting. However, that did not happen, and um, so I continued to uh, play some more matches, thinking maybe maybe it wants me to play a third match. Maybe, maybe the quest will unlock after I complete a third match. Um, unfortunately, I was not winning very much after this point. Um, and we'll cut to uh, another spot here where you can kind of see uh, a little bit of what was going on with my team during the matches that I was losing repeatedly. 
or coming to a draw repeatedly on. Uh, this is another thing where I tried to hop out to the Xbox Game Pass Quest app to see if the quest was if I was making any progress on the quest, um, and it still showed zero out of two, even though according to the game I had two wins under the ranked match sim. So um, if you do see this happen, I would recommend restarting your Xbox, and uh, and then uh, after after that trying to get another win. Now, if you've played a bunch of matches and not gotten any wins, um, you can see what's starting to happen to my team here. See the little green bars underneath each player's name? Uh, each player takes uh, a bit of a stamina hit after each match. You know, they use up some of their stamina. So it starts to go down for each player. So you can go into this squad list and sort of swap out team members. You've got some people on the bench at the bottom. So you can pick people and swap them into positions. Uh, and you may run into this as well, where it tells you that you've got like an ineligible player. And you can see, look, look how bad my stamina is getting on some of them now. Some of them are like redlining, like they're about to die on the field or something. Um, the, uh, the goalkeeper that I've got down at the bottom has an exclamation mark over his head because his contract has expired. So I ultimately ended up swapping him out, not realizing what was going on. But if you hover over a player that has the exclamation point on their face, um, you can press X to go to the player menu, and you can renew that person's contract with some of your uh, game points that you've got available. So try to pay attention to the positions that you're putting players into and make sure that they're comfortable. Like if you look over at the right side of the screen, that they're comfortable on that area of the field that you're putting them into. Because um, if you put them in, a, in an area that they're not good for, like for instance, that guy that I just put right there isn't, uh, isn't ideal for that position. Um, but you do want to make sure that everybody has some, some good stamina so that they can compete well in the match. So this is after I had uh, gone through another match and uh, really worked on improving my team's layout and making sure that the people were in the right positions or what I thought were the right positions, uh, that they all had full stamina bars and um, that the highest ranked people, like you can see the little numbers next to their name, like 61, 58, et cetera, that, that some well-ranked people were out there on the field, like some good players that could, that could really do some damage. Um, so pay attention to those numbers, pay attention to your player stamina on this squad list after each match, and uh, yeah, just get the, get the best set of players in the best positions that you can, and you should start to get some more wins if you're having, if you're having issues getting the wins. Another thing you can do is this, uh, you've got the contract renewal, I mentioned that a minute ago, so that's where you can do that, you can press X and then contract renew. And then you might have a stamina recovery that you can use on certain people too. So if you have somebody you want to uh, keep on the field and you just want to improve their stamina, that's an option uh, as well as to, uh, to improve their stamina using that, that perk. All right, so we'll go back into the ranked matches now. And we're going to be working on getting one more. So this is the... The third win, technically, that I had overall. Um, I ended up playing 10 matches total, and I'll show you that in just a minute, that list. Um, but this match uh, went so well, 2-0 uh, to zero after, after all of my stamina improvements and fixing everybody's contract and getting them into the right position. Um, so yeah, if you're, if you're struggling to get the wins, I would definitely recommend uh, taking a look at that, making sure you've got you know, healthy players uh, that they've that they've got um, as high of a number beside them as you can and make sure that they're positioned well on the field. I think you'll probably find that you get more wins if you're able to do that. Alright, so you can see we're at 87 minutes in the match. So again, they, they end after 90 minutes, so we're coming up to the end, and pretty much the other team has no chance of beating mine at this point. They took one last wild shot, didn't go in. And we're just waiting on the clock to run out at this point, so we can get that 90 minutes done. 
And for some reason, they <laughs> added three minutes to the match when I was thinking I was done. So I, I have no idea as far as football rules what can cause three extra minutes to get added onto a match, but apparently that's a thing. So uh, maybe somebody can uh, say, say in the comments what causes three extra minutes sometimes to be added to a match. But anyway, they weren't able to convert anything in three extra minutes, and we ended up winning 2-0. to zero. Um, if you want to take a look at your um, at the matches that you've played and your uh, how, ma how many wins and losses, etc., um, you can instead of being on the match menu here, you can go over to the right to the records menu, and the first option is the last 20 results. So if you click on that, you can see your most recent uh, wins, losses, etc. So you can see overall, I had 10 uh, 10 matches that I played uh, in in pursuit of this. Uh, matches looks like matches three and four were my first two wins, uh, so I should have gotten the achievement or should have gotten the quest at that point. Uh, it didn't happen, so I went through that whole process of restarting the game, restarting the Xbox, and uh, tweaking my team and trying to improve them so I could get some wins again. And then I did ultimately get the win, and then we will see the we'll hop back to the game here that that final match and just see the last last few seconds of it here so we can see the uh, quest complete at that moment So there we go, we finished the monthly quest for eFootball and we'll hop over to the rewards app and turn in those so hard fought 75 Microsoft rewards points. I think that's the hardest I've ever worked to get 75 points in a day. Um, but anyway, I hope this is helpful to you guys, you guys that are struggling with this one. Um, I know it's it's a bit of a beast. It doesn't seem like it should be this difficult with simulated matches, but uh, anyway, that's another one in the bag. And uh, that's it for tonight, thanks y'all. Thanks for watching guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.